if you have this idea that truth, like being true and false, right? I mean, truth apt, right? Um, involves some sort of representation, right? Yeah. Um, that's one step, right? Because like I said, there are going to be people that think, oh, you've got these truth bearers. They don't have to be representational, right? right. So the first link is between truth and representation. Mm -hmm. And I think that's pretty intuitive. I think a lot of people uh, would buy that, right? Yeah. Um, and so then how do you think about representation? Do you think, does all representation have to derive from something mental, yeah. right? Um, and if you think yes, right, then that gets you, in, into either a sort of Soames or Hanks kind of view or psych psychologistic sort of view, right? Yeah. A modern philosophy kind of view, propositions or judgments, right? So, but you've got some view like that where either propositions are thoughts or they're deriving the representationality from thoughts. But either way, you've got thoughts in this like really important role because without the thoughts, you don't have the propositions, right? Either because the propositions are thoughts or they're dependent on the thoughts for their representational properties, right? Right. So then, um, okay, fine. Well, uh, but if you if you think there are truths, right, that um, uh, a human thinker or like a finite thinker, I guess, you know, like maybe there's some intelligent aliens out there or something yeah. like that. I don't know, right? right? So to right. kind of like leave it open, right? But if you think there are truths that no finite thinker can represent or grasp or whatever, um, you know, cognize, whatever word you want to use there, right? Then um, that's kind of opening the door to, well, now, if you want the representation of, of any truth bearer to be grounded in a thought, now you need you now you need a thinker that can think that kind of a thought, right? right? You need a thinker with that kind of mental power, right? And if it's like this infinite thing, right? Like, the, so the example of the sets, so, so in the specifically, the example I used would be a singular proposition, yeah. right, about one of these infinite sets that um, doesn't have any sort of, um, there's no procedure, right, that's, um, uh, that you could, that, that that's finitely learnable, right, that yeah. would enable you to grasp that thought, right? Ax Axiomizable um, so, or something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, um you it, it's in, it's plausible you need an infinite thinker to to think those thoughts right or to grasp those propositions or whatever to to ground the representation of those propositions and so that's where you get uh the infinite um thinker who would be something like god right yeah 